Hey y'all, it's Rita Mae June, and I'm coming on today to give y'all an update on my twist. I had them in now for nine days, and I am so proud of myself that I'm hanging on in there. Uh, I actually like them. Um, this will be a go-to style of mine when I just don't want to mess with my hair or just give my hair a break. Um... I know the last video I did, you might have couldn't see them too well. So here's a little bit better lighting. Here's the back and the sides and all of that stuff. Um, all I've been doing is putting my bonnet on. That's it. My hair is staying most moisturized up until um, Saturday, which made it a week. So, um, I had to make up a little moisturizing spritz to put in my hair. So, that's what I want to share with you guys today. Um, what I use in my spritz, I use an old bottle. It doesn't have anything in it. This bottle looks familiar to you guys because it was um, the Amazing Botanical um, Aloe Mix Spritz. But, um, if you saw my April Curl Kit... Um, unboxing, you saw that all my contents was empty out of there. So, I decided to just make use of the bottle and just make me my own little spritz. And what I used was the Ori Essentials Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I used these to install the twist. Um, this is really, really moisturizing. I love that it has aloe vera, um, aloe vera in it and um, wheat germ oil and avocado oil. It has a lot of great oils. Um... I received this in my April Curl Kit, and I have a video on when I use this for to do a set of twists for a twist out. Very, very good product. Um, I use about two squirts of that in here. And then I use about two squirts of this Ampro Pro Style Vitamin E Oil. And this is just a blend oil with soybean oil and coconut oil and grapeseed oil and a lot of different oils in there. And I decided to use that just because it did have the different mixtures of oil. So along with the oil that's already in the leave-in plus that oil, I'm thinking my hair should be very well moisturized. And it is. Um, I spray my hair on that Saturday. Um, today is Monday. And I think it's time for another spritzing. Um, this might be my last spritzing until I do my twist out. So... What I did was put two squirts of the leave-in, two squirts of the conditioner, and I filled the rest of it up with water. And what I do is just shake it up to make sure it's all mixed together. And I just spritz my hair, not to get it soaking wet, but just to moisturize it. And I just move my hair around just to make sure I'm getting all of it. I like to make sure I get my edges. And I don't worry about my edges being slick because it doesn't last. So, that's about it. Give it a shake around. And that's it. And I didn't use very much of this. It was filled to the top when I first started using it. This is my second time using it, and it's about right here, so I don't want to overly saturate my hair. I just want to get it nice and moist, and I don't do anything to it while it's drying. I just let it dry and let it do what it do. So, as you see, it didn't change anything, but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I will be coming in on, um... Friday to share my twist out. I can't wait um, to rock my fro, but I have been enjoying these. Um, I'm thinking after this twist out, I might go back to my wash and goes for a little while. Um, just because it's getting kind of humid here um, where I stay. And um, I know the twist out are going to be a hot mess. So I enjoy them while I was doing them, but. Um, if you guys been watching my channel for a while, I am a watch and go girl. So, but I will be installing these though um, from time to time just to give my hair a little break. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm about to start 
rambling, thinking of things to say. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. So if you have any questions or anything, please leave them down below. And I will talk to y'all later. All right, bye.